Hey there, how's it going everyone? My name is Alex Stork. I'm with the 5th Minnesota Volunteer Infantry and I'm here today on behalf of the event planners for the 2022 Fort Abraham Lincoln Living History Garrison. Now the purpose of this video is to provide a quick rundown of a manual of arms found in the 1868 version of Emory Upton's Infantry Tactics. We know that a good portion of the reenactors will be attending this event as part of Company B might not be too familiar with Upton's manuals. So, we hope that through this instructional video, we can provide a quick, easy reference guide that can be utilized as we prepare to garrison the fort as the 6th Infantry did in 1873. Now, due to certain restrictions that will be in place at the fort during our time there, there will be no firing of rifles while we are there. Therefore, I will not be covering any of the firing and loading commands that are detailed in Upton's manual arms. Finally, one last disclaimer, we know that not everyone in attendance will have a breech-loaded Springfield, and that's perfectly fine. We encourage anyone who's able to obtain one to do so, but we understand that there will be a number of muzzle-loaded rifles at this event as well. Realistically, for the time and place that we'll be portraying, every soldier within the company would have been issued the same weapon, so that's exactly how we're going to conduct our drill. While there are specific instructions for both weapon systems within Upton's manual, We'll be treating every rifle at this event as if it is a trapdoor Springfield. This way we can greatly simplify drill for everyone's sake. Now let's get to it. Carry arms. Carry arms in Upton's is the same motion as shoulder arms in previous manuals such as Hardy's and Casey's, involving lifting the piece straight up along the right Carry shoulder and embracing the guard with a thumb and forefinger. Remember, when going to support arms, the manual states to support the cock against the left forearm, the left forearm on the left breast. When in rest from support arms, you are not required to preserve silence or steadiness of position. To return to carry arms from support arms, you will bring the piece to the center of the body, barrel to the carry rear, and carry it down arm. to the right shoulder and into the final position of carry arms. Carry arm. Present arm. In present arms, ensure you keep the left hand thumb extended along the barrel, left arm horizontal and resting against the body, and right hand below and against the guard. Present arm. Carry arm. Returning to carry arms from present arms is done in a similar carry fashion as from support arm. arms. Keep in mind, when you are slipping the piece to the ground in order arms, you aren't letting it drop recklessly. It's a controlled but quick lowering. In place rest doesn't require you to preserve silence, but you must keep at least one foot in place. When receiving the command of attention, you will simply attention, resume the squat. position of order arms. Attention, squat. Parade, rest. Parade rest does require keeping both silence Parade, and steadiness rest. of position. Once again, receiving attention will return you to order arms. Attention, squad. Attention, squad. Carry on. Fix, bayonet. 
To fix the bayonet, the piece is carried to the left side and the bayonet attached with the right hand. When fixing or unfixing from the carry, you will keep the piece at the left side until given the command to return to carry arms. In charge bayonet, keep your left thumb over the barrel, elbow against the body, right hand supporting against the hip, and the bayonet point at eye height. Returning to the carry from charge bayonet requires carry briskly raising the piece on. to the right shoulder with the left hand. Carry on. Trail on. In trail arms, the rear rank men may hold the piece so as to not touch the front rank with their bayonet. To return to the carry from trail arms, you will raise the piece to a vertical position with the right hand and into the final position of carry arms. Unfix bayonet is conducted similarly to fix bayonet, held at the left side and the right hand removing the bayonet. In secure arms, you want to end up with the left hand at the lower band, the thumb on the rammer to prevent it from sliding out, and the little finger resting against the hip. Returning to the carry from secure arms involves raising the piece to a vertical position with the left hand, seizing it with the right at the small of the stock, bringing it to the front of the body to present arms, and then back into the carry. The final product of right shoulder shift places the piece on the right shoulder, the lock plate up, and the muzzle inclining to the left, not straight up and down as is sometimes seen. Going to the carry from right shoulder shift means lowering the piece with the right hand and seizing it with the left at the lower band, twisting the barrel to the rear, then lowering it fully into the carry position. At arms port, the right hand is at the small of the stock, the left at the lower band, the two thumbs clasping the piece, with the barrel sloping upward opposite the left shoulder. From arms port back to the carry simply means carry returning the piece to the right on. shoulder and taking the final position of carry arms. Carry on. Arms at will. In arms at will, you may carry the piece with pleasure on either shoulder, the muzzle always elevated. Carry. When given the command, Inspection Arms, you will immediately shift the piece to the left side and fix the bayonet. You do not remove the rammer. Once fixed, you will automatically return to order arms without a command and await the instructor.
Once the instructor has squared themselves in front of you, you will raise the piece with the right hand to opposite the left eye, catching it there with the left hand at the lower band, where the instructor will take it from you. After inspecting, the instructor will return the piece. You will receive it back with the right hand and immediately return to order arms. When given the command, open boxes, you will reach across your body with the left hand and steady the piece. Then with the right hand, reach behind and open the cartridge box, holding the flap against the body, palm of the hand to the rear. The instructor will inspect boxes from left to right. As soon as the instructor has inspected your box and moved on, you will close your box and resume order arms. Whenever fixing or unfixing from order arms, you will automatically return to order arms without a command. Carry on. When being dismissed, you will be brought to arms port, then receive break ranks march, where you will break away out of the formation. All right, thanks for watching everyone. We hope that this can be a useful tool for everyone to utilize and we appreciate everyone educating themselves to make a better event all around. We look forward to seeing you in 1873. Once again, this is Alex Stork with the 5th Minnesota Volunteer Infantry. Have a good day.